Why does my eye look like that? Is it just me or does this eye look wonky? <laughs> Hi you guys, I am so excited for this video. This is the seventh round of Roulette Pan Collab. And I am so very excited to be a part of this. This round has quite a few new changes and twists and we will get into that now. <laughs> how is everybody if you're new here hi how are you thank you for stopping by and welcome to the family my name is Rose I'm a girl boss on a budget who loves to save money and project pan today's video is my introduction into the seventh round of roulette pan collab the creators of roulette pan collab is of course the wonderful rebecca and alexi here on youtube they are just two of the sweetest women that i have met i've gotten actually been messaging and gotten to know rebecca a little bit more and i'm just so grateful for that she subscribed to my little old channel i just wanted to say thank you so much rebecca for your support it means so much to me if you guys are not already subscribed and following these two amazing women i highly recommend you go check out their channels they will of course be listed down below in the description box for you guys this is a four month long project the dates on this is february 15th which is my husband's birthday so that's why my video is going up a little later than everybody else's i do apologize but what's new story of my my life my videos are always a couple days behind the rest it is a four month long project and the dates are February 15th of 2020 to June 15th of 2020. This round, round seven, is a little bit different because now there are a hundred categories that the painting community as a whole has helped partake in and contribute to that list. A little over two years ago when Rebecca and Alexi created Roulette Pan Collab, it was was just the two of them and there was 50 prompts that they had created in conjunction with between the two of them and then they were kind enough to open up roulette pan collab for the community to join in and they finished all 50 of those categories well now they had made it an option and then the community the painting community as a whole helped pitch in to help create a hundred new categories that is going to be a part of the new round of roulette pan collab which i think is just amazing and since i only did the original round with the 50 prompts only one time i have decided to go ahead and combine the two from the hundred prompt the hundred categories that we have now to the remaining 38 that i did not complete on the last 50 categories in conjunction so i will have a total of 138 prompts to choose from which is so exciting because i want to try to make sure that i finish all of the other first rounds of 50. on my last round round six i managed to do 12 out of the 50 prompts and i was successful on nine of my 12 goals so that was very impressive of course i will have the playlist listed to round six in the cards for you guys if you want to go check out that round and in the description box there will be a link to the spreadsheet and a link to the playlist of everybody that is also joining in on round seven i highly recommend you go check out everybody else's intros as well so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it sorry for the long intro but i just had a lot of information to cover with you guys and i'm just very excited 
we are going to do it is we pick six numbers and I always pick my numbers with you guys. I already have one to 138 on my phone since I'm using, again, combining the new 100 categories with the 38 from the last round that I didn't complete into one. We will draw the six numbers right now. I will write them down and then I will go back and look at see what each prompt is and I will go over that with you guys. So let's go ahead and I will pick the six numbers first. Number 62, 54, and 51. Number 36, 28, and 66. And since it ended up picking all my numbers are under a hundred, I'm able to choose from the first, from the newest categories that was created from one to a hundred. Because how I was going to do it is if it chose anything past a hundred, it would have been the older categories. So that way I was still able to incorporate the old categories numbers that I didn't use yet into it. But since it used all the numbers from a hundred and up I'm able to use all new category numbers so let's go ahead I pulled up the category spreadsheet and I'm gonna look and see what these numbers represent so number 62 the first number I drew is a product with broken packaging and then number 54 the second number I drew a product you overlooked but now love I'm going to go ahead and write down each category and then I will go over what each category a number is with you guys and then I will go and find a product to match these categories and come back and show you guys <laughs> And then number 51, which was the third number it drew, is a product you have multiples of the same type or color in your collection. Number 36 is a product from a controversial brand. Number 28 is a product you love the color but dislike the formula or the opposite. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> And number 66, the prompt for 66 is something black, packaging or product. <laughs> These are interesting categories, you guys. Okay. So I got them all written out. Now what I'm going to do is kind of sit here and ponder on what products that I'm going to pick from my collection to go with these prompts. And then I will come back and we will go over the products and set some goals on them. <laughs> I'm back 
and I got some products to go along with these categories and these prompts. So let's go ahead and start with number 62, which was a product with broken packaging. I went with my Milani Silky Matte Bronzer because <laughs> the packaging is broken. <laughs> This is actually a really beautiful bronzer. It is just as it says, a silky matte bronzer. And you can actually use it as a nice contour shade. I really enjoy this bronzer, but it's just, I don't reach for it often because for one, I'm painting other bronzers right now. And for two, the packaging is broken. So I think this is a great idea in helping me to kind of get some use out of this again. I'm just gonna go ahead and set a goal on it right now to wear down the middle part of the embossing right there. Just the middle part, nothing too crazy because your girl is doing like 10, 11 different project paintings right now. It's crazy. I'm obsessed, you guys, but <laughs> as you can kind of see right there, there is embossing in the middle and I just want to get the middle part worn down. Nothing too crazy. Hopefully, I won't have a problem in doing that. Next number that was chosen was number 54, and it is a product you overlooked but now love. I went ahead and went with my Pixie Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist. This is something that's been in my collection for quite a while, and I definitely had overlooked it for some time. I went through, and I was going through my drawers doing some declutter videos, and I came across this and realized how much that I do love this product. So I've kind of been using it under the radar, even though I am trying to pan the Morphe Prep and Set Continue continuous setting mist. This I figured would be perfect to put in a project pan right now. I do love it and I have definitely overlooked it. As you can see there is right there is the amount of product. Let me go ahead and mark this right now with you guys so that we can see where it's at and then that way I can go ahead and set a new goal on it with you guys. Just marked it and I'm gonna go ahead and just set the goal on that to finish it so there's no need to mark it again but i do have my beginning mark on it now so you guys can see i'm just going to set the goal to finish it next number was number 51 and that is a product you have multiples of the same type or color i went ahead and went with my fenty stunna lip paint because lord knows i got plenty of <laughs> lipsticks liquid lipsticks and i have plenty of liquid lipsticks and lipsticks in general in this same color which is a peachy pinky nude color i am going Going to set the goal on this to just use it 15 times you guys nothing too drastic or anything I just shook it up like a dum-dum so now you can't see it was about to or it's about to right here so I have used it but it's been a while since I have used it so this will help me to kind of get some use out of it so 15 uses the next number was number 36 and that is a product from a controversial brand. I went with my Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bar Palette because Too Faced is very Too Faced. <laughs> no, Too Faced is a controversial brand for good reason. They have a lot of good reasons. If you don't know one of the reasons, just go look under the channel, Nikki Tutorials, for example. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, yeah, definitely a controversial brand. The palette smells absolutely gorgeous. It is a really beautiful palette though. It's not to say that the formula is bad or anything. I am going to set a goal on this to use every shade in the palette. So I can do, you know, you have your crease colors over here, a couple mattes, and the rest are all like shimmers and metallics over here. A bunch of gorgeous colors to use. If I set the goal on this to use every shade in the palette, that will help me to kind of make sure I use each one of these colors over here. And those colors are absolutely beautiful. It is a really nice palette. And I haven't used it very in a very long time. So I figured that would be a nice goal to make sure I can use every shade in the palette. 
And then the next number that it chose was number 28, and that is a product you love the color but dislike the formula or the opposite. I went ahead and went with my ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss. I really love the color of this, but the formula isn't the greatest. It's just too like glumpy, gloopy and glossy and like sticky. I mean, it's not real bad. This is in the shade Make It Savvy though. I absolutely love that color on me, especially in the summertime. I mean, even though pro the project is going till June, which will be, you know, May, June will be a good time. But I mean, it don't matter to me. I'll use this color all year round. It don't matter what time of year it is. You guys know how I do. <laughs> This was recently in my lipstick roulette, which I am just doing over on my Instagram, and I had made the decision to try to pan this. I figured this would be the perfect opportunity now to put it in a project pan, since I do want to pan it, just because the formula isn't really my favorite. The color's beautiful, so I don't think I would repurchase, just because I don't like the formula of these So Juicies. I mean, it is really beautiful on the lips. With that being said, I don't want to set an aggressive goal and say finish it right now just because I'm doing a couple few different lipstick project pans but let's go ahead and we will mark it so you guys can see where it's at right now because I do want to set the goal on it to use half of it at least I will mark it so that you guys can see where we're at and where we're starting at I'm starting right there I want to to set the goal to use half of it nothing too exact or nothing like that i just wanted to get a line that is actually over half but i'm gonna use it and to that line which will be a little over half whatever no big deal there's the goal there's where we're at and there's the new line that's where i want to get it to last number is number was number 66 and that is something black packaging or product i went with my nyx matte liquid liner because i have two or three of these i panned one of them already last year in my 12 pans of christmas i panned one and now i'm working on a second one and i think i have i want to say one more left them days are over you guys of buying multiples of products and I'm not allowed to buy anything actually I'm on a two-year no buy right now that will be listed in the cards if you want to go see why I decided to do a two-year no buy I'm only allowed to buy repurchases of anything right now while on this no buy the only way I'm justifying able to buy anything is if I have absolutely no backups no nothing and Lord knows I got enough backups of everything there are some categories that aren't as heavy like mascaras and stuff that I will be able to repurchase eventually but I still have two or three of those right now i'm just going to set the goal on this to finish it up these will just basically stop performing and the product stops coming off that's usually when i know that it is finished okay so those are all of my categories and those are all of the products that i chose for my categories i'm so very grateful to be a part of this i was messaging rebecca the other day and i just wanted to say again thank you so much for understanding and letting me be a little late on this this project because the actual day that this project started which is on February 15th is my husband's birthday which is today I am filming it on the day I just I know I won't be able to get it up today it's my husband's birthday today and I just wanted to spend the day with him he went to go do some errands real quick so I figure perfect time to try to get this video at least filmed on the day but I just wanted to say thank you Rebecca for your patience and just for your friendship and getting to know you has been so great that is everything Everything, you guys we will come back in a month from now I will try my hardest to make sure I get my update my first update on this however on March 15th so that way at least I'll be up and current moving forward thank you so much for stopping by and of course please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until my next video everybody enjoy the rest of their day bye